light was leaving, she seemed to fade with it, blend with the sky and clouds, recede beyond them. I wanted to lift my voice louder than the seagull's cries and call her back. Marilyn. Marilyn. Why did everything have to turn out the way it did? Many of us remember the precise moment on August 5th, 1962, when we first heard of her death. We remember where we were, what the room looked like, who was there. It's a sense memory usually reserved for the death of a president or a member of our own family. One simple reason for her life story's endurance is the premature end of it. When the past dies, there is mourning, but when the future dies, our imaginations are compelled to carry it on. The more I think of it, the more I realize there are no answers. Life is to be lived. And since it is comparatively so short, maybe too short, maybe too long, the only thing I know for sure, it isn't easy. Now that I want to live, and I feel suddenly not old, not concerned about previous things except to protect myself, my life, and to desperately pray, tell the universe. I trust it.